Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking a rye. All right, Ben, there's nothing on the bar, but there should be something on the bar. What's on the bar? Something on the bar. There's always something on the bar. Bam, we've got lock, stock, and barrel vatted straight rye whiskey. This is a black bottle that you can't even see in, but I promise it's brand new. We, yeah. did, we did remove the plastic just because you know we fight with plastic. And it looks cool, mm -hmm. but... Probably hard to read, to be honest. Probably hard to read on the video. But it's one of those bottles where I like these bottles in theory because they look cool, but then you can't tell how much is left, which I don't know if you really need to, but you know. Nice little cork pop. So I don't really know a damn thing about this. So we know this is a rye, and I, I did look up on the internet. This is a blend of different ryes from different places, including Kentucky and Alberta, the one in Canada. And I thought you said Alberta for a second. Alberta? No, it just sounded like you said Alberta. Alberta. Maybe that was just me. Oh. That's like and Pencil Canada and Pen Alabama. Pennsylvania and Indiana as well. Um, Aged from four years to 18 years with a nine-year-old heart. I don't know what a nine-year heart in a rye means. It probably means like, like most of the, the it is mag, nine years, I'm but guessing. there's some. So what, some, what's the age range? Four to 18 with a nine-year heart. So there's probably some four wide, year yeah. and some 18 year, but most of it's probably around nine. <sighs> that smells like something I can't. I haven't even poured it yet. What do you do in I'm, sniffing? I'm enthusiastic about this. this what's the proof on this? Premature sniffing. Premature snivs. Um, I can't even read it. I believe it is 100 proof, but it has not been guarded in a government approved warehouse. So not bottled in bond. 100 proof though. That's okay. 50. Well, I suppose with a blend of that many, there had to be a lot of government warehouses to... <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of government, but... So it's, it's very, very rye-ish. Like this doesn't come across as like a barely legal rye, uh -huh. a 51% rye. That's, that's a term that we invented. We should probably explain we that. We did not invent that. We didn't? No. So, so sometimes we drink a, a whiskey that is just 51% rye and a lot of corn and it's very bourbon-y. Yeah. You know, it, but it is legally a rye. This we think is something close to 100% rye. There may be a little <laughs> bit of malt and barley, but it's probably pretty high rye content. There is something there. Like it's definitely, you can tell it's a rye right off the bat. Mm. It's got all the, the quintessential hallmark notes of a rye. But Cherry pop tart. Cherry pop tart. Well, I liked it until you said that. Oh yeah, it, Ben has Ben is anti pop tart. Like pop tarts. In, so, they are so good. But anyway, that's what I get. There's now there's some flavor. Oh God, what is that? So it's not cinnamon. No, there's something there that I've had in whiskeys before and I just can't put my finger on it. I'll figure it out like later on tonight, I'll be laying in bed and I'll wake up and I was like, that's what it was. Are you thinking of spice? Because I do get something in the fall baking goods type spice range, not cinnamon, but close. No, it's, it's almost, you know, you may be onto something with the pop tart thing because I think part of what I'm getting is a little bit of like a flaky pastry sort of. Yeah. It's like, it's got the rye spices to it. I'm getting a little bit of that clove, a little bit of the licorice. A little bit of vanilla. All the standard stuff, but it's like, it's not in your face, like sharp spicy. It's interesting. This is, it's like kind of muted, but in a good way. And then it kind of has that, like that pastry vibe. So I will mention, I had one drink, one pour from this brand, this distillery several years ago. I don't know which, they have several different versions, including several that are crazy expensive. Okay. Um, I know nothing about this company, but yeah. so far on the nose, 
It's great. Let's get into the flavor here before oh, everybody it's starts the cherry. Review Definitely off. cherry. All right, here we go. Survey says I'm still not prepared to make a decision yet. Oh wow, that is weird. And I don't mean weird in a bad way. It is. It is not what we typically review on this channel. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely unique. Boy, that is keeps going in different directions. So, after two sips, I feel like flavor-wise, it's a little more standard rye. Like, it's got all the, the good rye, you know, if, if you're a fan of rye, I mean, definitely, like, all that is there. Yeah. It's nice and rich. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing offensive about it at all. It, like, it's, it's just a great... Whiskey. Yeah, it's just great whiskey. It's how we said before, like, it's not in that barely legal rye category. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely... Like I said, if you're a fan of rye, I don't see why you would not be a fan of this. Okay. But on the palate, I'm not noticing is there's that interesting note I can't pin down on the nose that I'm not getting so much on the palate. But I'm getting just a really, really nice, good, 100 proof, here's what a rye whiskey tastes like. So it's probably a new, it sure drinks like a new charred oak barrel. And that, that definitely provides a lot of the influence similar to a bourbon. Yeah, well, it has to be. For... Let me ask you this. Do you like Dr. Pepper? Yeah, I love Dr. Pepper. I'm getting Dr. Pepper notes. Is that kind of the cherry that you were exactly. referring like, to? Exactly. It's kind of gone Dr. Peppery, which is not normally a verb, but... I was actually going to say when you were saying the cherry note just before we sipped it, I was going to jokingly say, has it gone cantaloupe? I think and it's gone Dr. Pepper. And I, I don't say that you, as an insult. Like, I'm getting a little cantaloupe, like a little, like a melony flavor. Not melony like a person. <laughs> Mel, I can't think of a famous melony right now. Melanie uh, Griffith. Mel What's oh. wrong with you? I told you I couldn't think of one, and I guess that's one. Yeah, there's a little bit of that, actually. But there's definitely like that kind of flaky pastry sort of, like a general pastry vibe. Like baked pastry. But I still, honestly, I'm getting a little Dr. Pepper. And I, and I like Dr. Pepper a lot. So. so did you know that Dr. Pepper, according to something that I heard sometime, um, was actually they were trying to replicate Cherry Coke and came up with the recipe for Dr. Pepper while trying to like replicate a Cherry Cola flavor? Uh, that's crazy. That's Because Dr. Pepper does, if you taste it, it's, it, next time you drink a Dr. Pepper, think about it. Like It's hmm. kind of got like a cherry sort of vibe to it. That's weird because did you know what it used to be called? And I don't know if this was the official or just totally like Nurse a, Pepper? No. Ten, Med school. 10 to 4. 10 to 4. You drink it at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m. Why? It was actually a prescription thing. Mm. The, the old world was weird. Pre-internet days. Interesting. They believe some weird stuff. Yeah. Now that we have the internet, everything is fixed and solved and yeah. we are just smooth sailing. Everything that's said on the internet is gospel, including all the things you hear at the bourbon note. So it is gospel that this has a nice baked pastry note. Smells a little like Melanie Griffith. On the nose. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, you know, I was tempted to say something. It's just one of those things where you just got to make a judgment call in the moment. I appreciate your restraint. Yeah, that's really nice. I mean, it's a good rye whiskey. I feel like, the, like I said, the, the palate is just, it seems like this is what a rye whiskey should taste like. Now, a lot of the ryes that we've had have kind of been those barely legals from mm -hmm. um, prominent bourbon distilleries. I'm but we're still had uncomfortable some... with that term, by the way. I just have to. <laughs> Why, just, Greg? <laughs> just saying. What is the possible other connotations of that? I, just I don't, certainly don't know. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I'll let it go. Trying to make you look weird, <laughs> er. but yeah, weirder. But yeah, no, this is a this is a nice whiskey. I like I, this. I really do. But I definitely think that it's turned clove and a little bit metallic vanilla. So traditional kind of rye spice finish. Have you been having a heart attack for like the last? Is it like when you can taste copper? Is that a sign of a heart attack or a stroke or something? Seriously, is that do, a thing? Yeah, yeah. You taste copper. 
What? Yeah, that's like a, if you, if you ever taste copper aside from like metallic notes in bourbon, yeah, get your ass to a hospital. Seriously? Call somebody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I have never heard this before in my life. Because you've been getting that metallic vanilla on a lot of stuff lately. Well, that's because we're drinking lots of high rise. I was going to say, we have had some high rise stuff hmm. lately. That's curious. This involves a need for investigations. Yeah. Approximate price on this? Yes. <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Um, I, I honestly think it was 50 bucks. Okay. That's, that's worth 50 bucks all day. Totally. It is really good, but it is definitely a step different than in the your typical bourbon. Well, it, cause it's a rye. Yeah. So yeah, it would definitely be a step towards, maybe a little step towards like the rye category. More. Yes. But I think it is even maybe a tad different than, well, what have we had recently that was a high rye? That was high rye. Bourbons, rye. No, or like a rye like rye. a super high rye rye. Um, we had that Grand Traverse that was a hundred percent rye finish in port casks yeah, or sherry casks or whatever. Yeah. But you noticed the high rye on that. Mm -hmm. um, we've had not on the channel, but we had that Whistle Pig Boss Hog. That's true. Yep. Um, and that that's a true to the game rye. Yeah. So this one, if you like rye whiskeys, I don't see why you wouldn't pick oh, this, this up. Oh, this is awesome. This yeah. is really good. And to be honest, this is one of those ones where every sip I took, it got more and more interesting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm a fan of this. I think this is actually a great... Um... So I found this at Cashwise. Okay. Which means it, I think it should be fairly available in Minnesota. Sure. So um, hopefully you can see it wherever you're at. I think this is... So we've talked about in our rye videos before with those ones that are like 51% rye, kind of like dipping your toes into the rye pool. Mm -hmm. This is if you want to dip your toes into the high rye, rye whiskey pool, like the real true to the game rye. Like this is a good, like it's got all that stuff, like all the, the spice and the, you know, it's the rye punch in the face a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's really rounded out and nice and it's not like aggressive and in your face. And so this is a great kind of intro to like a, a full-on rye whiskey, you know? Totally agree. Does that make sense? No. Like if I wanted to tell somebody, like if I wanted to give somebody advice, like, hey, I want to try, I want to know exactly what rye whiskey tastes like, I'm probably not going to recommend Elijah Craig rye because it's so low on rye. Sure, it's bourbon -y. It's got bourbon-y sort of yeah. vibes to it. You know, you want to give them something, but then if you want to give them something that's a little bit lighter in... I guess it's just punch more, in the face. Yeah, it's just yeah. more rounded out, but all the rye flavor is still there. Yeah, it's kind of like when you get a high proof bourbon that doesn't punch you in the face with alcohol. Like all the flavors are there, but the ethanol doesn't kick your ass. Like all the rye flavors are there, but it doesn't come across as off putting to a newbie. I would assume. Totally agree. That's my very long winded attempt at explaining that I think this Lock, is a good one for stock and barrel. Yeah. This is a good rye whiskey that we have just reviewed on the bourbon note. I'm bad. Yeah, we're not the rye note, we're the yeah. bourbon note. I mean, of course we're gonna stumble trying to figure out how to describe a rye, of course, right? Yeah, because we we're, we're the bourbon we note. Yeah. All right, anyway, before we train wreck this anymore, this has been Lock, Stock, and Barrel, vatted straight rye whiskey on the bourbon note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.